League form does not matter yeah. when it comes to the Champions League. Yeah. It is how you perform on the night. Karibi is finished 2-2 at the Emirates Stadium. Not the result we wanted. I was very conservative at the start of the game. I would have taken a no-no. You were having a go at me. <laughs> You're having a massive go at me. Yeah, and it's finished. Yeah, I brought, but, but it's finished 2-2 Kanebi. So what are your thoughts on the game? How do you dissect that? I'm happy at least we got something out of that game. It wasn't a loss because mentally it would have been very damaging to us. I was telling the guys in the studio, this is the Champions League. Mm. League form does not matter yeah. when it comes to the Champions League. Yeah. It is how you perform on the night. And on the night... Today showed that Arsenal is still inexperienced in the Champions League. Yeah. And for me, at the end of that, that was a penalty. Yeah, but yeah. we'll get to that later. Mm. But anyways, from what I saw in the first half, you cannot be conceding a goal after six minutes of scoring. Mm. It shows inexperience. Mm. The game management was poor. We scored a goal, we started getting too con confident, passing the ball like we usually do. Mm. Raya is coming so high up the pitch. We get confused, we lose the ball, we, get, we concede. This is Gnabry, this is Sane, this is Hurricane, yeah. this is Musiala, this is Leon Gretzer. No matter what is going on in the Bundesliga, these guys, man for man, are still world-class players. You cannot go in there being naive. And I thought today, Jesus should have started. He's a man in the Champions League. Kiwa didn't look sharp today. Sane was eating him all day. Yeah. Zichenko came on and did a better job. Yeah. I'm, the only good thing about this thing is that we got a draw and... <sighs> I think Bayern Munich still, their defence is leaky. We can still get goals against Bayern Munich, yeah. but it's at the Allianz and it's advantage to them right now. Let's talk about in-game management because you look at their goals. These are breakaways. You know, if you talk about Champions League experience, you've got to bring people down to collect a yellow card yeah. in those kind of situations. They came with a plan and they executed their plan yeah. nicely. You know, and they, were, they got stuck in Leon Gretzka today was the, was the best yeah, player yeah, on the yeah, pitch. I didn't see Declan Rice at all. Yeah. Oh, well, think, no, no, when he moved to the number six, he looked yeah, decent. Did, yeah. yeah, but from what I saw today, Leon Goretzka and um, Lamia, they controlled the midfield yeah. today. They mm. were on it. They were they were fighting for the first and the second ball. Mm. As soon as Arsenal lose the ball, it's down the wing. It's 1v1 with the fullback. Mm. That was the plan today, and it worked in the first half. And unfortunately for me, for them, that bastard that they call Harry Kane got to go today. Yeah. Harry Kane is just a demon. That one is... is and that's what I'm scared of. Let's not go and get a brace away from home, but we need to learn from this. You mentioned a couple of good points. You mentioned the players who have been out on the cold who haven't played that much football. Yeah. Kiwio and Martellini haven't played a lot, of football. Played a lot of football. Zinchenko and Jesus started yeah. and they have Champions League experience. Surely yeah. they should have started. They should have started this game and I think the 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 the, 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 starting, the, lineup. the starting lineup was, was not... Would you have gone with Pate instead of Jorginho? I would have gone for Pate because Pate is... You need someone who is more aggressive someone who is more mobile in the pitch and mm. passes the ball forward. Jorginho mm. has been excellent this season, but I think this game was a bit too much for him because Leon Goretzka and Lamia, they are younger, they are more athletic. They're going to move around the pitch more. Yeah, but we, it's not that, that young. But. Yeah, <laughs> but we needed somebody that could have that presence. Or you just play this guy as a six. Take the rise. I'll go for it. Because these guys, their defense is all over the place. Mm. Uh, for the Davis, and, we, and what annoyed me today was Kimmich no, was on that right, on that right hand side. Martinelli did not get. Not one take on. Not one take on. Man. Listen, listen, all is not lost. We, we go to Alliance Arena next week, and you know the game is still open. You look at the Madrid uh, Man City game is three three. But advantage by Munich at the end of the day. But I'm not even looking at the next Bayern. Munich. I'm looking at Aston Villa right now. Yeah. Because I'm hoping that. We did not physically exert ourselves too much mm. because the Aston Villa game, thank God, is, is a 4.30 kickoff on Sunday. There's time to recover and we didn't lose this game because if we had lost this game, Mentally, yeah. yeah, Saliba today, worst game I've ever seen Saliba play. I'm not sure. Yeah. I know he's going to bounce back, but um, today he was all over the place. And I think a lot of it is down to the experience. Yeah. This is the first time the manager is in the quarterfinals in yeah. his career. Yeah. First time for 90% of these players, including our 100 million pound signing. Correct, yeah. So it says a lot Correct. from the keeper except to the likes of Kai, Zichenko, mm. Jesus. So, anyways, it's better than, lo not lo it's better than um, losing. And, um, better than not losing, yeah. yeah. So, let's see what we can do at the Alliance Arena. It's going to be tough. It's going to be a big feat. But you never know with football. We never know with this Arsenal team away from home. Yeah, last, last, last question. He's lucky he's got a full fit, fully fit squad to pick from. He's got to rotate a lot against Aston Villa and try and get a result. One thing I like about Teta Shah, Ateta learns from his mistakes. Yeah. That's one thing I've noticed about him in his managerial career. And I hope 
I I know he's going to rotate. Mm. He might bring in the likes of Smith Rowe, mm. but I hope it's not too much mm. because Aston Villa themselves, they are fighting for top four. They're a good side, although they are playing on Thursday. Mm. They're still a good team. You can't. I, mean, I don't want to submit my opponents. Yeah. That is my philosophy. The, so the guys in the studio say, ah, it's Bayern Munich. Uh, yeah. I don't do that. Bayern Munich have won the Champions League six times. They've won it in the last four, five years. I mean, they've already given up on the Bundesliga. So yes. This was their... This, this was is their, their do or die. Teacher yeah. wants, might want to go out to with a bank. So right, right, you right. cannot just go there and say, oh my, it's Bayern Munich. They're, they're losing the... Nah, fam. They've got more World Cup players than us. When Chelsea yeah. won the league, where were they? Yeah. When they won the Champions League, where were they? When Real Madrid won it three times, they didn't win, they were not winning La Liga. But they were, they, were, they were winning the Champions League. So the Champions League, there's nothing like league form when it comes to this. It's about experience, know-how, taking your chances, and also being thorough. Because today, I just think that we were, we, we, we were outsmarted today. They were more streetwise than us. They understood the mission. We didn't understand the mission a bit. We're still learning. But we'll bounce back. Cheers, bro. All right.